Of every film that I have ever watched, Charade is without a doubt the most unpredictable, the most thrilling, and it's very quickly just become my favourite Audrey Hepburn film, which considering I adore Rowan Holiday is testament to just how amazing this film is. I watched it on Prime, it was released in 1963, directed by Stanley Donnan, and stars Cary Grant and, of course, Audrey Hepburn. And the description from IMDb is, it, it doesn't really sell it very well, but I'll read it out. And this says, Romance and suspense ensue in Paris as a woman is pursued by several men who want a fortune her murdered husband had stolen. Whom can she trust? So, Regina Lambert, played by Audrey Hepburn, she's often called Reggie in the film. Um, quite early on in the film, her husband has died. has died. We never actually get to see her husband. He's not really important as a character. What is important is the fact that several people who once potentially helped to steal about a quarter of a million dollars were after him to try and get that money back. And now that he's dead, they're coming after Regina and they think that she has the money. And obviously her life is in danger and she meets an individual. Um, <laughs> I'm not going to tell you his name because he has multiple names throughout and I don't want to give you the wrong name because I can't remember what the first name was that he provided. So I don't want to spoil it by saying what his other, other names are, but it's Cary Grant's character. And he befriends her and just starts to help her to kind of work out what the truth is because she didn't know anything about basically anything about her husband certainly she knew nothing about this money but she's learning that she actually didn't really know anything about her husband ironically she was in the middle of filing for divorce anyway so she's not exactly a grief-stricken widow but she is still very much in danger and several men come into her life some of whom are very blatantly obviously after the money and are threatening her some of them it's not immediately clear whether or not she should be able to trust them and Ultimately, it's trying to work out where this money is or what happened to it uh, or who's got it and also who should have it. And every 15 minutes, maybe even less than that, more frequently, there was a twist. Not a dramatic twist. There were a couple of moments where I thought, well, that was just insanely unexpected. But there were a couple of times where I maybe saw a few of them coming a few minutes before they happened. But certainly from the beginning of the film, there was no way I could have ever kind of worked out the path that this was going to take. And I'm not going to spoil anything for you, but even right up to the last three or four minutes, another surprise was dropped. And it's just constant. Now, I think some people might not enjoy that. Sometimes when a film has too many twists, it becomes quite ludicrous. But this one actually worked really well because the entire film is about mistrust or trusting people who you shouldn't and, you know, finding out things either last minute or when it's too late. So the fact that there are a lot of things revealed uh, and we feel deceived as a viewer um, and there are double bluffs and everything. Honestly, everything you know about this film will change every couple of minutes. And I'm not really selling it very well because that doesn't sound like it would be enjoyable, but it is. It's a complete roller coaster from start to finish, and I adored every single second of it, which is very rare for me with a film. I will usually obviously love pretty much all of a film that I enjoy, but with this one, there wasn't a single moment where the pacing dipped, where the characters were unbelievable. Reggie is a character, I love her from the moment we met her. I just thought she had a great attitude and a great personality. That's sustained across the board with some nice character development. Cary Grant's character has an exceptionally interesting development throughout the film, which even right to the end, I'm still thinking, I, I don't know what to do with you. Absolutely adored it. Favourite Audrey Hepburn film. I can't believe Roman Holiday has now been pushed aside for charade, but it has. Definitely one of my favourite films of the 60s. I should point out it's very 60s and it has an exceptionally long title sequence, about three and a half minute title sequence. But it's, it's phenomenal. If I can only recommend you one film that's currently on Amazon Prime, it would be Charade.